Well, hello again everyone. It's time to carry on with this painting. And I think the first thing to do is to add that shield back over the miner's tub and his shovel. And we'll carry on adding in these props. Now I think that's the body of the main sort of archway prop um, arrangement. But you can see there's a lot more timber in this construction. There's all these uh, sort of lattice side type pieces. And there's some sort of roof boarding as well. So I'm going to now add them in in much the same way. But you can see they all appear to be slightly lighter than the main timbers. So um, I'm going to try and make them a little bit of a lighter brownie colour. We'll see how we go with that. Right, well I think uh, I'm there or thereabouts with the background. Now you can see my painting is nowhere near as brown and ready as the reference, but uh, I don't mind that so much. Mine looks a bit darker and uh, I think it's perhaps, I mean this photo would have been taken probably with quite a powerful light, um, but this looks perhaps a little bit more um, as your eyes would perceive it perhaps in the mine, I think, <laughs> that's my excuse anyway. Uh, if I wanted to match the reference exactly, I would have to put a lot more uh, red and brown in, but I've kept it pretty dark. Mines are dark, aren't they? So uh, anyway, let's take that shield off and see what it looks like. soften some of the edges just a little bit with uh, some black. Well, I think I'm going to call that finished. I think if I tinker with it much more I'll uh, end up ruining it so uh, I think I'm quite happy to go ahead and clear coat that next. It's Saturday and it's reasonably mild so I'm going to give this uh, a wipe with a tap rag and then we'll uh, clear coat the front. I had a tip to put the uh, aerosol can of clear coat in warm water. So uh, yeah, this is warm water from the warm tap. Um, 
Maybe it could have been a bit fuller, but uh, yeah, we'll see if that uh, helps things along a bit. And don't forget, there's a selection of my airbrush paintings available on my Etsy shop. Just search in Etsy for TTXELA Airbrush. And if you don't see what you're after there, then uh, get in touch and we might be able to sort something out for you. Well, we'll let that dry for a while uh, before we uh, touch it. It'll need at least 24 hours to harden up before we can flip it over and do the back anyway but I'll let it dry for a while and then I'll take it inside to cure for the rest of the uh, 24 hours well it's uh, Sunday afternoon now and uh, I think we can put a coat of clear on the back of this now but before I do I just wanted to point out I've had a couple of comments from ex coal miners in uh, part two of this uh, little project and they're saying that a real coal miner would never put his hands over the edge of the tub like that. Because uh, if anything happens, uh, things fall from the ceiling and such like, then uh, obviously it would uh, easily injure the fingers. So they push with the flat of the hands on the back of the tub. Right, let's flip it over and put some clear on the back. Should we do that, boy? Right, oh. So there we go, there is the finished piece in the clear coat. So uh, yeah, I'm quite pleased with that. That's uh, turned out a little bit better than I thought it would. It turned out reasonably well, I think. And there he is up on the wall in the conservatory. And his light's shining in the light. Yeah, his light's shining in the light, as it's you say. Reflecting. Yes. Actually, you know, now that's hanging there and uh, it's dark outside and the light is shining on it, you can see this sort of bloom <coughs> effect in the clear coat, which I'm not really liking at all. And if you come down at more of an angle, you can see uh, it's like areas of it are a little bit matte, mainly where it's gone over the thicker airbrushing. And I think that's because it's a little bit cold and damp outside to spray that clear coat. So I'm not entirely happy with this. I think I'm going to have to uh, take it somewhere warm and uh, give it another going over with the clear. Right, well I brought this to work and it's reasonably nice and warm and dry in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and coat over again in that uh, spray can clear. There is a risk to this, obviously we've had that crazing before where we've let the clear dry too long between coats. Now this is cured for 24 hours. Um, you can see, I don't know if it comes across on the camera very well, but certain areas like his shirt have a different feel to the um, skip which has a different feel to the sort of more or less uncoated or <clears throat> where the airbrushing hasn't gone on the base coat so I think we just haven't buried this deep enough really uh, in the clear that's my thinking so anyway I'm going to go ahead and try and coat this up uh, a bit better Well, that's had a few hours to dry and it is much better. There's still a slight difference in feel on his shirt there, but uh, looking across it, I can't see those sort of fades anymore. So, uh, yeah, I think that's much better. I think it's just the fact that it's warm and not wet in here that's uh, made it a little bit better. So. When I get this home, I, I might uh, just g give it a polish up, give it give it a cut with the cutting polish, and uh, 
a general polish up and uh, yeah much better I think well that lacquer has had uh, two or three days to harden up now so I'm gonna give it a cut and polish with the uh, cutting paste and the polish and uh, we'll see what it looks like after that <laughs> If you enjoyed it press like subscribe if you want to see some more and ring the bell to be notified when we upload something new